Hey everybody, so I just wanted to do a, um, a video on the top 10 myths about cloth diapering. This came from diaperpin.com. This is a very great site that um, has a lot of helpful information about cloth diapering. Um, so, some of the reasons. You have to toilet dunk. A lot of people are used to the old-fashioned diapers where you have to dunk the diapers in the toilet and to rinse them off. Um, a lot of people do do that still, but, uh, or have like a bucket, you know, that you can do that too. But they come now with the little diaper sprayers that are attached to your toilet. Um, or a lot of people actually have videos that you can, they show you how you can make them with like the sink sprayers. Um, we tried at first was our shower head. Uh, we would pull it down and try to do that, but the pressure was not um, good enough to get poop off. Cloth diapering, uh, cloth diapers don't keep your baby dry. I would say that's definitely a myth. Um, I find that he has had very minimal diaper rashes. If he's had one, it's probably because he maybe pooped overnight. Um, we didn't know it. Uh, with breastfeeding babies, poop rarely smells. Uh, so he would just have a, a diaper rash from there. So cloth diapering does help with keeping your babies dry. You have to change cloth diapers more often. Uh, I find that a definite myth. Uh, I think with um, Unless you're the type of parent that changes your child every time they pee, then yes, you are going to be changing them more, but you would be changing them just as much as you would with disposables. So, uh, cloth diapers and diaper pails smell. That is um, a myth, but also it can happen, I mean, depending on what's wrong with your water, if you have hard water, if you're not washing them correctly. Um, they can smell, but... Um, it can be easily corrected. Um, the diaper pails, you can easily easily get um, pail deodorizers or use baking soda. And there's a bunch of other things you can do for a pail. Uh, cloth diapering is more difficult. I don't find it difficult. Um, I am not the... I would say that me and my husband are lazy when it comes to like housework or stuff like that. Uh, but we find it that with the money that we're saving that it's worth the work. Um, so I don't find it that that difficult. I mean, if you wash clothes, you know, on a regular basis, you'd be used to it anyway. Uh, cloth diapering is more time-consuming. Um, I guess it depends on how you do it. I don't find it time-consuming as in changing the child. Uh, the only thing that might be time-consuming is actually... Um, stuffing them if you have to stuff your diapers or, you know, put them away. But then again, I can do that while I'm watching TV or while I'm folding all my other clothes. So you actually can just incorporate it into your daily life or your, you know, your normal routines and it doesn't seem like big of a deal. You have to use diaper pins. Um, a lot of people have actually gotten out of using diaper pins. Um, instead of using them, they have the little, um, can't think of the names of them, sappies or something like that. That actually like hook on. It's like a like a Y shape that just hooks onto the side of the uh, prefold and then the little crotch part. Uh, you have to use a diaper service. That again is a myth. There are diaper services out there, but a lot of people say that um, they cost just as much as buying diapers. Okay, so number nine is uh, cloth diapering is more expensive. After factoring the cost of detergent, water, and electricity, um, they said it's not even close. Disposables cost on an average of one to two thousand dollars. That's just on an average, and that's depending on the brands and ge geographical areas. Over the over the course of one child's diapering years, uh, I think that actually only goes through. I'm not even sure if it goes through potty training. Cloth diapering not only costs on average of $150 to $300, depending on the diapers that you choose, um, but they can be over and over, being over and over, so you can use them over and over. So if you, um, you and your husband or your family want to have four children, you start cloth diapering with the first one, you spend the most money at the first child, $300 at the most. Um, you can end up spending more, it depends on how much of an addiction you make it. Um, but, um, you know, with four children, that would be, you know, $8,000 if you did regular diapers or more. And then um, 
three hundred dollars for four kids. You know, however you work it out. So the money is 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 a big thing. Um, number ten, cloth diapers are bulky. Um, I find this uh, cloth diapers can be bulky, but I f I feel that we've been using them for a year now, so it's kind of um, you kind of get used to them. So you get used to the bulkiness and the clothes and stuff like that. So when he actually has, like, every once in a while, the daycare will put a disposable on him and he'll come home in one, he just looks so small. <laughs> like, his butt looks so small. So, um, these are the top ten myths about cloth diapering. Um, these were also, these were, like I said, found on diaper pins. Um, I'm pretty sure there's other websites that have different ones, but I was just, you know, researching stuff. And I thought that was some very interesting um, information. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. I'll leave the link down at the bottom, and I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.